Is your MacBook Air having a really short battery life? Is that really bloody annoying or what, man? These MacBook Airs, when they get old, the batteries really degrade and you, it kind of like is miserable to use them for a long time. What the hell is that outside noise? Guys, are you tired of your MacBook Air having really short battery life after it's just a few years old? Well today, I am too, and I'm going to solve that problem. This here is a battery that I got off of, got off of eBay for about 20 beans. Uh, it's an A grade battery, which means it, has, it supposedly has less than 100 uh, charge cycles on it. We'll see when I actually install it, if that's true. Uh, but for 20 bucks, I intend to fix the short battery life problem in this MacBook Air. So I'm doing this with nothing more than an ordinary tiny Phillips head screwdriver and a proprietary um, for MacBook Pentalope screwdriver in the 1.2 size, uh, which is what's necessary to get these little screws off without stripping them. So I'm gonna see how quickly I can do this, but I think I can do this really, really quickly, like a few minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer, swap out the battery, and let's see what we can do. Do 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 do. Screw one. Well, these are really short screws. The two middle screws are actually much longer, if I recall last time I done a MacBook Air, yeah, they are, than the other, other screws around it. But the threads are actually similar length. The screws themselves just have a long shaft to them. Whereas all the other screws have similar length threads, but just no real shaft. They're tiny little eyeglass size screws. Da -da. Almost done with the outer case. Just four more to go. Do, 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> the outer corners are a little awkward because they're on an ang they screw in in what feels like an angle. I'm not sure if it, it's just the shell of the case is angled or it actually goes in on an angle though. They're too little to tell the difference. All right, it is exactly one minute in and the back case is ready to come off. That didn't take very long. Case comes off. Wow, that is dusty. Okay, now the next thing is to remove the actual battery, which is two, com two components. You have the screws that hold it in, which are pretty easy to remove. I'm gonna start with that. Oh, look at that. I got the wrong screwdriver. I'm gonna pause the clock and switch. Apparently it's not a Phillips head, but rather a normal Allen key six-sided screw. So I'm gonna pause the clock and just get a different screwdriver bit. Hang tight. Okay, this here is a T6 Allen key bit, or star key bit, whatever you want to call it, it's six-sided. I'm gonna resume the clock and keep removing these uh, battery screws. And there we go, that's one. How many screws are there to remove? It looks like only four. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm, two down. Oh wow, the lower screws here are much shorter length than the upper screws here, which you have to obviously remember when you reassemble it later. Uh, this T6 Allen key feels like it's slightly too big for these screws. I don't know what the correct screw is. It's definitely six-sided. It doesn't look like a normal Allen key screw. It, does, it has like a star shape to it as opposed to a hexagonal, no well, hex is five, but polygonal or whatever. All right, now the, the battery is disconnected in, oh, actually all five screws. Wait, one more to go. That one's stubborn, that's pretty tight in there. Come on, come on out. There we go. There we go, stubborn last screw, almost stripped it too. All right, so the top three screws, meaning the middle and the top ones here are long, the two bottom ones are short. The only thing left to get this battery out is to remove this little connector, which I believe you just pull. And yes, that's correct. And then the, battery, the old battery comes out, that one's gonna be discarded. Recycled, excuse me. Put the connector in probably before putting the screws in, because I imagine it's gonna be really hard to get the connector in otherwise. Let's do that. That's in. Position the battery so it's nice and snug. I'm now three minutes in and I'm already reassembling the laptop. So let's get that in. Well, these are little, little screws. Maybe people with tiny fingers can actually make this an easier job than I can, but my fingers 
are not that big, but I still can't handle these little screws easily. Wow. Stubborn little guy. Holy cow. Well, at this point, technically, I have already swapped out the battery. So technically, it's a three-minute job. Reassembly could take a little while at this rate. Hang tight. Oh, my God. I can't get this thing in. Come on. Stubborn little screw. There we go. All right. One screw is in out of five. Okay. The next little baby screw. Holy cow, I can't get this thing in the hole. Wow, you need microscopic fingers for these things. This isn't difficult, this is just annoying. Let me see if I can try it. Let's drop it in the hole. A little part of me is inclined to just leave the little screws out. <clears throat> I'll come back to them afterwards. Let's do the big ones. No, I didn't just do that. Here we go, drop the screw. All right, all the screws are in here. I'm gonna pause the clock one more time. Right now at exactly five and a half minutes because I wanna go get an air sprayer and just dust this. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Much better. All right, okay, restart them. Okay, I'm gonna replace the top back on. The long two screws go in the back. Gotta put that pentalope bit back on. Oh, that thing's so hard to pull off. Here we go, pentalope bit back on. Put the two long screws in its place. Mm -hmm. And then the remaining short screws go around the entire perimeter of the back plate of this MacBook Air. I like to put them on in random orders so they seat evenly across. If you put them on sequentially around the perimeter, there is a possibility that by the time you come to the very last screw, the first screw you put on will feel like it's loose already in there. Kind of how, how you put on um, lug nuts on a tire of a car. Oh man, there's a lot of these little screws. Luckily, they have very short threads, so it doesn't take long to secure them into the holes. Hmm, this screw seems to be slightly magnetized and it's sticking to everything. Come on, man, go in this. It took me literally three minutes to change the battery and it's taken me another three minutes to put the screws back in the thing. It's kind of annoyingly uh, delayed. All right, hold on. That's it. Seven minutes and 44 seconds at the moment. Let's see if it boots up. Hopefully it will. Now that's assuming that they actually gave me a battery with some kind of charge in it. So let's just see. That's not looking good. All right, I'm going to stick this thing on the charger and hope for the best because <laughs> that's a fail possibly. But the, char the actual act of swapping a battery is the same, except you should probably make sure your battery is good before you put it in and install it and put the plate back on. I'm going to go get the charger and hope this actually fixes the problem. Okay. Well, let's see if this works. All right, it's lighting up green, so it's got a connection, and it did just power the computer on. Now it's lighting up red like it's recharging the battery, so that's at least good. Uh, at least it's better than it was. <laughs> All right, nothing like making a video of something and then it's a total fail, but let's just see. I'm gonna open up the battery display in iOS and let's see actually if the battery is any good or not. Let's see what it says. This is a really long boot time. Is that normal? Now I'm really hoping it's just a completely drained battery, not enough power or current to actually turn the thing on and it's not that it's a failed battery, but I, I really don't know. This thing is moving this little loading icon, but super slow. I think we may have some other problem with this laptop too. Wow, man, come on. It was like watching grass grow, watching paint dry. Holy cow, dude, work my man, work. 
2,000 years later. All right, it's a thousand years later. I kid you not, this thing took forever to boot up. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe the hard drive's failing. That's a different problem for a different day. But it is on, so I'm gonna now check the battery. I'm gonna click the Apple symbol up here, and when you're in the Finder menu, go to About This Mac, open up this, click on System Report down there, and click on the left panel, Power, and now we can see cycle count 53. So indeed, this was an absolute A plus class um, battery. This is a top line battery. This is like brand new, basically. 53 cycles. It's only been recharged 53 times. It has a full charge capacity of 6,598 mAh. Um, what is that, milliamp hours? So that is a like a brand new battery. That is excellent. So the eBay seller who sold me this for 20 bucks, total A plus you guys, that you guys rock. Um, the actual battery arrived with almost a 0% charge. By the time this thing booted up after it sat on the plug for a good long while, it was only at 6% still, and it took forever to boot up, so it was charging during that time. It's now at 11%, so it is holding, it is charging up, um, and so far so good. I just need to let it charge up. I don't know what's wrong with this laptop. Other than that, that's for a different day. But indeed, you can see how you can swap out a Apple MacBook Air laptop battery in five minutes or less. It's pretty easy. Anyone can do it. Thanks for watching.